Hey guys, GhostWare38 here, wanted to bring you this next G.I. Joe Sigma 6 figure review. This is on the 8-inch Commando class Snake Eyes figure. He was released in Wave 1 in 2005. I won this guy loose off of eBay, so I wanted to show you guys what he came with and just give my general review on him. His spare weapons came in this plastic bag. Everything else is in the case. So with that being said, let's get started with what was shown to me in the plastic bag. The first we have is Whip Star. You put the knob here, blades come out. Behind here is the magnet. Here is a clip that would go be fed through the um, through this, and you could attach the magnet to a surface. Fridge, table leg, whatever, and he'd zip line. He came with two masks, one with a almost a Sam Fisher splinter cell style for night vision. And a either a gas mask or a rebreather for underwater missions. This kind of reminds me of Raiden's mask from Metal Gear Solid 2. If you took the this piece off and only had the one or maybe it was both of them I don't know and the two pieces that were also in there were these little connector pieces you attach these to the ends of the swords you could either have them put two together like a Darth Maul or you could have them with his Wasa I'm probably gonna butcher this but Wasazashi the short sword and you could attach it to the end there also here is one of his swords Whoops. This was also in the bag as well. Blue color into the end of the blade. This is where the end would go. You just plugged it in like so. There, you can just take it out. Whatever you wanted to do. In the show, uh, this was actually a button. Come on, camera focus. In the show, this was actually a button here, and Snake Eyes would press it, and this piece would pop up here. Um, then you'd have it like a tonfa, which could lead to some posing. Okay, Snake. to something like this. Or you could have it turned around to do the other way. Uh, but anyway, get him out of this posing. Get the sword out of his way. Comes with two swords. Be sheath. Now looking at the figure himself, His visor is removable. He can interchange. There's two pegs on the side of his head. I guess rebreather mask here. If you want to line it up properly. Like so here. And the other one here. A lot of the way articulation is the same as I did with the long range video. Legs go up, out. Pivot. This one's not as stiff, thankfully, because I picked this guy up loose. Arm goes down. They all have the computers, hand can rotate, and if you want to turn it, it goes up and down. And head of it, head can pivot a full 360 degrees. 
And for cloth accessories, he has this harness piece. Um, this was another piece that was loose. This was his dagger or short sword sheath, which kind of transitions into the weapons crate. Move that stuff all to the side. Inside his crate, he has the other sword and the piece and the section for his gun, which the clip is also removable. And if the camera will focus in, there is a sculpt for a remote or a bullet there. Again, comes with the second sword here. The Wasazashi short sword or dagger. Again, has the port here. And you can attach it to the sword. So, yeah. You have options. Also, the sword can conveniently be stored in there. And he also comes with two suction cups. So, you could attach him to a window. Um, or in the case, it'd be probably scaling a skyscraper, which is probably where you'd be able to fit the uh, night vision goggles in. But anyway, um, with that, that's my little look here at Snake Eyes. I think this is an excellent figure. He was actually one of the first few that I bought when the Wave 1 initially came out back then. And so I'm nice to say this is... The first one I'll have again. Put that back up. So I hope you guys like this little look at Snake Eyes. If you enjoyed this video, Comment below your favorite G.I. Joe from the Sigma line. Um, comment below, like I said, comment below your favorite figure. Click that bell notification to be notified of when I make more of these videos. And until then, I will see you guys next time with another G.I. Joe video. Thank you. Have a good day. Peace and yo Joe.